Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I hope you're safe and well because that is the most important thing. Interestingly, it was the self-help group meeting yesterday. We had a great turnout. We had eight people plus me live in the room and we had another 38, 39 online. So really good meeting. And the the um, sort of hybrid model worked pretty well. Uh, so we're probably going to continue with that because we do have people who, who are from a long way away and they, they can't always get to a live meeting. But yeah, that was, that was good. Um, one of my friends there in the live meeting had just was in, in the process of getting over coronavirus. She'd obviously been tested to the nth degree, so she wasn't um, in any way infectious. So uh, that was good. And I'd taken a test as well. So I was I was negative and everybody else was fine. So with a bit of luck, it's all it, it, it's all gone smoothly. And of course, today's the first day of Chem UK Expo where they're taking very, very stringent precautions against coronavirus. So I hope everybody gets out of that. We don't have like a mini soft chemical spike. Uh, but yeah, it was, it was absolutely great to see everybody. And thank you for attending if you did. Um, it's uh, hopeful that despite all the worriness about, oh, winter and everything, we may be able to have our famous Christmas lunch meeting. Fingers crossed. Anyway, titanium dioxide. You may remember a couple of days ago I mentioned uh, about this new guidance that's come out of ECHA and that I didn't have a link to it. Well, I have the link now. Many thanks to many thanks to Alison Hill, who has actually found where it is on the website. So I'll put the link below here. Now, Alison said something really important, which is that um, there isn't any guidance in the ECHA guidance on how you measure the aerodynamic particle size. And that's absolutely mission critical for titanium dioxide because it has to be an aerodynamic particle so that you can breathe it in. And if you can't do that, then it's not going to get into your lungs and it's not got the potential to harm you, whether or not you believe in the harmonized slash mandatory classification about it being a cat to carcinogen, which as a we know it really just affects rats and doesn't transfer into other species, but ECHA have been willfully blind on this issue. So anyway, um, oh, and by the way, remember, it also applies in GB because it's in the 14th ATP coming into effect on the 1st of October, and we have automatically adopted that. So leaving that on one side, yes, uh, TDMA, the Titanium Dioxide Manufacturers Association, who are a subgroup within CEFIC, that's the European Chemical Industry, um, to a trade body. Um, they are apparently due to issue some guidance on the aerodynamic particle um, measurements in the next few days. So I'm keeping an eye on that and I will bring that to you once we know what's going on. So thanks very much to Alison for keeping us in the loop. Right. Um, reasons to be cheerful. My goodness, we do need reasons to be cheerful at the moment, don't we? Um, it's Roy Chubby Brown again. And um, these are some, uh, well, just a couple of fairly, fairly clean-ish jokes. Um, uh, so uh, I, I hope you enjoy them. And yes, he is, you know, I'm kind of getting into Chubby Brown as, as the, the week wears on, because I'm having to, to listen to more of these. And uh, when you sort of cut through the, the um, swearing and the crudity, he is actually quite funny. So, um, yeah. Anyway, um, just putting the link below this video now for you. Uh, it's all part of my supporting Roy Chubby Brown because of freedom of speech issues. He's been he's been cancelled in Sheffield uh, and that's not right. So that's why I'm doing it. Um, and uh, anyway, I hope you have a good day and I hope to catch up with you again tomorrow if we're spared. Take care of yourself.